I'm running Dr. Rackett with the definitions pane to the left of the interactions pane, and I'm using the language intermediate student with lambda. We can talk about why I do that later. I require some tools for manipulating images from picturing programs. Whoops, spell that right. Control R reads these in so Dr. Rackett knows about them, and then Control D gives me all this space for interactions. I want to get some images. Computers represent images as arrays of glowing dots. I can copy an image value and I can paste it into Dr. Rackett. Dr. Rackett happily echoes it back. Doesn't matter if the images are bicycles or giraffes, you may need either. Paste in the giraffe value and it gets happily echoed back at me. I'm sure you've got the idea, but let's try that once more with lizards. Oops, I better right-click on that. Copy it. Paste it into Dr. Racket. Now, we don't just want to echo the same values all the time. Let's transform this into a new value. Here's what the lizards look like on the other side of a mirror. We can also do the vertical mirror image. Let's try it on giraffes. Copy the giraffes and then paste them in. There they are. The size of an image is the number of dots wide it is and the number of dots tall it is. So here's how many dots wide those giraffes are. 214. and they're 145 dots tall. You may have noticed something similar about all these images. There's five things in each. Five, I represent with the numeral five. I can represent the ratio five-thirds as a repeating decimal, or I can right-click and represent it as a mixed fraction, or right-click on it and represent it as an improper fraction, or go back to repeating decimal. You might have heard that some square roots can't be exactly represented with a finite number of digits, but Dr. Rackett does its best and lets us know that it's just approximating with that hash i on the left. It's an inexact number. You can also represent pretty big numbers and their ratios in Dr. Rackett. And if it doesn't help out to see it as a repeating decimal, you, of course, can view it as a mixed fraction or as an improper fraction. Sometimes you want to represent strings of characters. The double quote mark on either side says it's a string and that string has how many characters in it? Well, strength length tells us. It has six characters in it. You can represent truth, lies, and you can toggle back and forth between truth and lies.